Okay, it's a nice warm evening, so I've decided to give this one a goes, or a goza, and uh, pun intended, terrible I know. Anything Goes uh, by uh, Talk Brewing from Kalani. Let's check this beer out, up next. I am Brendan and this is Anything Goes from Talk Brewing Company down in the Killarney. I um, was down there last year myself. Um, I like Gozers, they're really good palate cleansers. Um, it took me a bit of a while to get round to the idea of actually enjoying a Goza, but if you just enjoy the beer for what it is, oh, it's quite a bit of colour going on in this one. That's interesting. Um, Wow, a bit hazy going on. If you handed me that beer, I would have never thought it was Goza. Um, goes, Goza. Uh, let's what it say. Uh, see what it says. Kettle soured, this one. Um, goza brewed with sea salt and coriander, which I really like coriander in beer. That's good. Uh, coriander seed, naturally cloudy. Um, yeah, the head is going away, so it's probably quite sour, I would say. Um, yeah, it just has two ac extra ingredients, coriander and sea salt. Um, doesn't say much else about it from County Kerry, obviously. Um, I'm just trying to see if it says anything else. 4%. It doesn't really tell you much else about it. I'm just going to drink it for what it is, and then we're going to go on to a beer hut version from pretty much almost the... Po well... Uh, quite far away from uh, Kalani, right really up the top. Um, there's a lot of caramel going on in this. Wow, that's really strange. I wasn't expecting to get it like that. Uh, kind of a little bit smoky, perhaps. Um, strange. Let's give it a go. Let's try this one. I'm just going to go uh, dive in um, and say it's kind of like strange um, uh, the way it's presented itself. Do you know what I'll do, actually? I'll, I'll actually do a double video. I was going to do this separately, but I actually kind of would like to see... I feel like this one is going to be totally different. This one, let's do this here. What is this? Frankie says relax. Uh, Frankie says relax. Uh, Goza... Uh, it's done in a can. What is it? It's 5%. This one's 4%. This one has coriander and salt in as well. So they should be reasonably similar. Um, doesn't say much else about it as well. So let's get this one in. See what this one... I'm pre predicting this will be a lot lighter in colour. Oh, she's lively. I've had a couple of beers from Beer Hut where the carbonation is very lively and I haven't shaken this one up so that's quite a lot of carbonation look at the difference in these two beers here I mean you're not going to get much more polar opposite if you if you had a blind uh, a blind test based on sight alone you wouldn't put either of those really or well, maybe this one as it goes but certainly not this one this has a really, really strong, rich caramel note on the nose. I was not expecting that. Cheers, Slancha, let's give it a go. Wow. That is strange. I'm expecting a Goza to be dry and puckering. Now, there is... Um, it is kettle soured and you do get a nice pleasant sourness but it also up front you get it like um a buttery caramel thing going on but like really really strong i mean we're talking popcorn here is this di diacetyl Oxidized can be um, buttery as well. That's kind of like 
on the nose it's so strong it's almost like I've not had a beer with that amount of um, caramel going on in it it's actually I wonder is it a fault uh, an off flavor but it I mean the color of the beer suggests that it's actually the malt that's gone in it and then it's kettle soured so you'd show up the caramel more so maybe not off flavor at all Um, I do get salt, not sure if I get coriander at all, maybe a little bit of coriander in the background that's beginning to build, and just a strange caramel thing up front. Uh, it's odd, I'm not sure if I like it or or I think it, it's weird or if it's evil genius or something, it's kind of hard to describe. It feels like there's two conflicting things going on in here. Feels like this should be one or the other. You're gonna go caramel, okay, that's fine. Go in that direction, maybe don't do a goza. If you're gonna do um, uh, that, that's fine. Um, but it's also sort of buttoned right up against the idea of being sour and, uh, and salty as well. Sour, salty, and buttery caramel. And a, a, almost, almost a little bit smoky on the nose. But I guess the pH in this is low, so therefore, if you've got some sort of unfermentable malts going on in there, uh, be it crystal malts or you know Munich or Vienna or something, then it's going to show up in the front end more because the pH is lower. That I just find it slightly strange. I, I feel like there's two beers in one one glass there. Let's move over to Beer Hut. Not a competition, by the way. Don't like it when people try, um, a part, uh, you know, putting things up against each other. I mean, it sometimes works, but the majority of the time, just drink the beer as it is. So this, um, I will say, it's um, very clear. There's just a tiny, I mean, it's not crystal clear, but it's reasonably clear. I can see my fingers through here. Um, so it has definitely dropped bright. There's like a crisp look to it. Uh, nice uh, white clear head on this. Um, uh, gentle foam, uh, medium to large bubbles. Uh, medium bubbles, not large. Um, looks good, smells good. I smell coriander and I smell, I know you can't smell salt, but you can get that satiating sort of drying it's almost like it's really, um, really fresh, really fresh and bright. Uh, that's, that's heavenly on the nose, it really is. And it's really showing off the coriander on it. Um, not like massively coriander, tiny bit grassy. Uh, Tiny bit of fruit going on in there as well. Cheers, Lancia. Let's give this one a go. Was going to do these two separately, but, um, you know, make them two five-minute videos, but I uh, might as well try them together. Well, that's just straight up what I think a Goza should be uh, in that it's a palate cleanser. Um, and it really does do that job of just wiping the palate clean, put in a really nice, fright, uh, bright, fresh flavor coating on my tongue, um, giving it that gentle kettle souring. Um, not sure, I think there's kettle soured as well, I'm guessing. Um, I mean, it should be anyway. Uh, yeah. It's that salt, that salty finish. It's just, um, it quenches your thirst and then makes you thirsty again, all over again. That's brilliant. That's really nice now. That for me, um, you know, it's not a fruited, uh, it's not fruited in any way. It just feels like it's nice, plain, simple, enjoyable, fun label beer. Frankie says, relax. I could see myself um, relaxing with a few of these cans of these. Very nice beer indeed. Oh yeah, 
I like that. It's 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 not sharp, um, but it is it is gently soured, and then there's this real nice zip of coriander going through it, and then the finish is that salt. In actual fact, it's probably one of the nicest finish with salt um, finishes to a goes that I've actually tried. You know, I can definitely taste salt in my mouth, but it's not in any way overpowering. It's just making me think damn, I want another sip of that beer. Um, you know, I, I'm i not thinking in the same realms with this fella here. The more I smell that, the more I think there's actually something going on in there that's probably not meant to be that way. Um, but we're giving them benefit of the doubt. It's kind of very bold and brave putting in the, the, um, the combination of malts they've put in. As you can see, you know, it is uh, a lot darker and therefore they have gone specifically, I mean, it doesn't say what they've put in exactly, but they've obviously gone out to try and get some sort of um, unfermentable malts going in so that you have them in the front. Um, don't know if I get too much in the way of, uh, you know, there's a bit of sourness going on there, but this is the kind of thing that I'm looking for in a go. So anyway, uh, hey, give them both a try um that's my views on these brews um frankie says relax cheers slancher and it's on to the next one bye bye